you know, this one you mentioned that was you've been using for one of the past Pennsylvania based oil. And the new GP1 oil is the latest iteration of that. You know, the old Kendall GT1 back in the day was everyone's favorite oil to test and trust it. You know, kind of a little quick side note, you know, zinc, we all know about you know, ZDDP, which is the key anywhere added to the motor oil wasn't actually invented until 1941. But in the 20s, there was now, the they oil. Oil. Pennsylvania oil was protecting flat cap of engines Lindbergh across the Atlantic without even thinking the oil, but it was that Pennsylvania base that made it so good. And now Trivet is working with that same original refinery there in Bradford, Pennsylvania, using those Pennsylvania grade base oils. But now, we're incorporating the same additive technology that we developed that Tokens Racing used to solve all their flat tap and cam wear issues and won eight NASCAR championships for 200 races. So the GP1 is really a synergy of Driven's advanced additive technology and the old school Pennsylvania grade base wheel combined together, which gives you the best possible lubrication for a high performance street track type engine, which is that's what we have here at LS Factor. I guess uh, if you could explain the difference in uh, between the standard oil and the break in oil. Okay, so break in oil is really designed for that critical first few moments when the engine is wearing in. You know, so there's a, a balance there you need. You need the parts to wear in the base, but you don't want them to wear too much or too little. If it wears too little, the rings won't bed in and will use oil and cause detonation and other bad things to happen. But if it wears too much, then you're shortening the life of the parts, potentially killing the engine. So breaking oil is designed to be like primer before you put down paint. It's high zinc but low detergent, and that creates that balance that allows the parts to break in properly without wearing too much. So everything seals up through the ring seal, cams break in, push rod tips are perfect. Then you can go to the synthetic oil for the high performance, better benefits of the horsepower. You were really changing the surface chemistry with the break in. Yes. And then once you got it, you want it just like with the primer, then the paint can lay down. Bingo. So, uh, yeah, now uh, we talked a bit about the, uh, uh, the testing that you've done and how you've actually uh, been able to measure the benefits of the oil. If you could give us a quick nutshell on, uh, on that. Sure, you know, we work here with the guys, you know, Billy Godbolt, the guys that go to cams. You know, they've got incredible quality control. They have these machines called ad cults. They can measure down to a tenth of a micron. That's a tiny, tiny, I mean, a human hair is about 40 microns. We've got video of it. Okay. You know the machine. All right, so we are using the ad goals to pre-measure the camshaft. Then we do a two-hour race simulation and then send the cams back to that pump to have them re-measure the cams so we can know accurately, within, you know, a tenth of a micron, how much wear is occurring on the camshaft. And we're testing literally 15, 16 different brands of oil, all the same viscosity, and the oil that provides the best protection is the GP1. So, yeah, it's actually measuring camshaft wear. But then the other thing, of course, is if you're producing less friction, you get less temperature. Exactly. So, when we're at, at the end of those two hour sim race simulation test, you can take the oil temperature over that last 15, 20 minutes and average it. And on average, the GP1 was running 15 degrees cooler than all the other oil at the end of the two hour test. And that's, that's a really big deal. Well, yeah, because not only are we getting less wear, we're seeing more horsepower and lower oil temperature. So, it all correlates together less friction, less wear because of that advanced the technology and the synergy with the Pennsylvania grade base oil, that's how it all comes together. Yeah, so when you're seeing the temperature, it's from friction, and friction is anti-horsepower. Exactly, and I like that, anti-horsepower. Yeah, so it's a parasitic horsepower loser. Yes. And of course, it's been, where there's friction, there's wear, so anything you can do to reduce that friction and, uh, and come up with a lower oil temperature is how you see it. Uh, you, know, you may not feel a 1% difference in horsepower, but your engine has gone. Oh, yes. Uh, it's getting treated better. Exactly. So, well, thank you very much, Lake. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.